Hello everyone. Um, I've decided to do another recycle, reuse, repurpose video. I'm just enjoying using up sort of backgrounds and scraps that I've got lying around so much. I'm going to do another one for you. Now, first of all, I just want to show you um, the other side of the big drop paper that you saw me using last week that um, I've now stopped working on. So that's that one that um, I already showed you on Sunday. And I've also got lots of inks and things on the reverse side of it as well. I just keep flipping um, it over. Um, and also, I've had a couple of comments on the previous video saying, oh, all my drop papers never look like yours. The trick is working on two or three different drop papers at a time and I tend to if I'm working on sort of pinks and, and blues and turquoises and that kind of thing then I'll work on this one here if I was working on um, I don't know reds and, and greens and that kind of thing I might work on a completely different one because of course you know I want my colors to build up um, and not end up with a horrible muddy mess so I hope you know that's a, a good tip for some of you but this here is primarily alcohol inks i don't know whether you can see here it's stamped with the north pole so you know this is the sheet that i was doing around christmas time it's got snowflakes and all sorts on it here we go we've got um, some snowflakes that i've stamped off here um even where i've been practicing my calligraphy um, you know since I went on the calligraphy course but there's all sorts on here and you know the colors have built up over a period of, of you know quite a quite a few weeks I don't always work on this um, you know depending on what color scheme I'm working on sometimes it's just too busy and I move it away and I'll just work on a plain sheet of paper for you um, but this as I say is primarily um, alcohol inks we've also got lots of gold which I think is probably um, inca gold we've got gold and platinum by the by the looks of things um, and I would say that there's also Bombay um, inks on this and so I'm just going to continue building this up concentrating on filling in um, I don't know if you can see that sort of all the white space um, around the edges until I end up with something that resembles the other other side and then I've got no idea what I'm going to do with it but I will think of something so today um, I want to work on a couple more pieces again I've got this tag here that um, has been hanging around my craft room for absolutely ages. Again, um, it was a tag made with Artist Loft watercolour paints. And by the looks of things, I've put the colours down um, and it's sort of shades, different shades of green. And then I've splattered it with isopropyl alcohol. You've seen me do that technique before where I just um, put water down in the background, then add my watercolours. These are the metallic watercolours and then I splatter it just you know over um, a paintbrush with isopropyl alcohol and then the paint starts to move away and you get these gorgeous um, sort of like splotches I don't know whether you can see that let me just hold it hold it up but you can see the splotches here and that's just where the isopropyl alcohol has pushed um, that watercolour paint away and I obviously didn't like it for whatever reason, cut it into a, a tag shape and then I've just started adding to it um, over a period of time. I obviously had some modelling paste left over at some stage. This is the marabou sort of, you know, chalky textured um, modelling paste that I purchased from Lidl. You've seen me use this um, a few times and I've obviously scraped leftover paint on this tag um, through a stencil. It looks as if it's the creative expression stencil that I've used here and then the circles I made the other day it was when I was doing the journals um, and it was the paint left over from the circles that I created here I had a bit left over on um, on my um, palette had the tag ready to use for you know one of the recycled projects and I just stamped some off there's also some stamping in the background here just using um, an old-fashioned text stamp and then I've just heavily inked the outside now I will once I finish working on this glue this down to a piece of cardstock I've worked on mixed media paper here and it is you know flimsier than I would like it to be but um, I'll do that later we'll sort of add all the details first so that's how I created the background background so if you want to do something similar hopefully now you'll know how I did this so I have decided to pull out some wallpaper samples to decorate this tag and bear with me let me get myself organized you know that I collect wallpaper samples and they're freely and readily available here in the UK most of our um, DIY stores 
B&Q, home base, that kind of thing. I don't know what they'd be called anywhere else um, in the world, US, Australia, New Zealand. I really, really don't know the rest of Europe. But it's, you know, the places that sell you your paint, your, your nuts and bolts and, and that kind of thing. We have, most of ours have a wallpaper, a home decorating section, and you can just take a, you know, a small piece off free, free of charge. And so I collect whenever I go in there. I just, you know, have a look to see what wallpaper samples they've got and just take a small piece that's what it's there for so i've got these gorgeous swallows and i've cut a couple out and the colors are just absolutely perfect for popping on this tag so i thought we could have one here and one there and then i've been printing having a look to see what um, kind of quote i could use i mean i'm keeping this really really simple and all i'm going to add is a quote from peter pan and it's do you know peter asked why swallows build their nests in the eaves of houses is to listen to the stories and i just thought that was perfect i love that now i've just printed this off on regular copier you know printer copier paper so what i am going to do is cut this out i've printed two um you know because it's such a large piece of paper and you never know if I, if I make a mistake I've got another one rather than um, using a fresh sheet so I'm just going to cut this out I've got this scrap piece of cardstock it was um, from when I was doing my C themed page so I'm going to cut this stamped image off here because I can use that in something else and then I've got this cardstock and it's got marks and things all over it but you know that's fine because all I want to do is just glue this quote down to this piece of cardstock just to stabilize it make it more dimensional that's what I'm trying to achieve here so I'm going to glue these down and all I'm going to use to glue it is a glue stick so I've glued my quote onto my scrap piece of cardstock and I've cut it out and I just use um, a piece of deli paper that you've seen me use lots of times over the over the past few projects and of course once the glue is dried you can just keep using it over and over again so don't throw these um, pieces of deli paper away I'm going to use some black archival ink you can use any kind of ink you like just to ink around the edges just to make um, the quote stand out more on the tag and then we'll piece it all together now before i start gluing anything down i'm just going to add one of these eyelets um, just to strengthen that hole and also to add a touch of, of black because i like the way that looks and since i've got them i might as well use them so we'll use my crocodile just to punch that into place and then as i say this is quite flimsy so what i'm going to do is i've got a scrap piece of cardstock here i'm going to add some glue on the back again i'm just going to use a glue stick if i can find it here we go again using that scrap piece of deli paper oh gosh can't get the lid off my glue and i always concentrate on going right to the edges when i'm doing this just to make sure that um, it sticks well on the edges you don't want it sort of peeling peeling off and by doing it this way adding the eyelet first i can conceal the ugly back um well sandwich it in between the pieces of of cardstock now, let me just share a mistake i made i added my eyelet before i added the cardstock on the on the back um but then of course i couldn't punch through it to make the extra hole so i grabbed my pokey tool and tried to um make the hole with that and then grabbed my jewelry pliers and it fell out it just just fell out so i've ended up using another eyelet so you know if you're going to do that glue the back on first and then punch a hole and add your eyelet um, because otherwise you end up with some wastage but you know hey ho lesson lesson learnt so i want to glue things down so let's bring back my swallows i love these i just think they're so cute so we're going to have those something like that and then I've got my quote let me just get it into the right order do you know Peter asked why swallows build their nests in the eaves of houses I, I guess that's where eavesdropping um, comes from 
to listen to their stories and I'm just going to glue that down something like that now because I've got all the texture in the background I'm going to use some um, gel medium rather than just a, a glue stick because I just don't think it will stick um, to the, mo the you know the raised modeling paste um, glossy accents would also work so I'm going to glue this down um, then we'll add a tie and I should be back right, okay so that's how my tag is looking I just love it I just think that's so so cute but I want to tidy up the back and I'm going to bring back that piece of deli paper I've reached for my dilutions paint let me just um, open it uh, um, up over my bin just in case I've got some cruddy bits on it and I'm just going to use a makeup sponge just to dab on some black paint because I've got glue and all kinds of things and writing as well where I've been practicing um, my writing for the for the moon page I did for my Valentine's page and I'm just going to cover it in black dilutions paint just to tidy everything up this dries really quickly which is why I use dilutions paint you get really good coverage and it's quick to dry it's nearly finished and you can see that um, it's tidied up on the back you can still see the glue but the black just you know really does tidy everything up and then I just want to use um, a Derwent um, tinted charcoal pencil um, just to add some shading around the outside we can go in like this just to really highlight these gorgeous swallows smudge it in there we are and then I just want to add um, some ribbons I've got some scrap ribbons this one here is you know the ties that you get inside your jumpers when you buy them just to um, keep them on the um, coat hanger so I cut all of those off and I save them so I've got one of those and I've also got this grey ribbon here which I think was sent to me in happy mail so we'll just bend those in half and then I shall grab my usual piece of bent over here we go here it is looking rather bent but you know that's okay <laughs> I've dropped it bent piece of wire that I use as my needle because it just makes it easier to thread through that's all so we'll thread those through there we are tie those in a knot so loop that one through and there we have it another tag I just love that and um, just look how nice and finished that looks just from scraps again the second piece I want to work on is this tag here it looks as if it's um, distress oxides this was sent to me in happy mail I'm sorry I can't remember um, who sent it to me but what I'm going to do to start off with is stick this down to a piece of scrap cardstock just to give it um, a bit more weight so again I'll use my scrap piece of deli paper and as soon as I've done that I'll be back okay so I've glued my card stock onto the background and I'm going to chomp my hole doing it the right way around this time so that I I don't end up in the mess that I did for the last one there we go so put that to one side so that's that done um, I'll add some black dilutions to that a little later what I'm going to do first though is I've got my distress oxide here in wilted violet I'm going to add a border because I'm not sure what I want to do um, with this tag I've got a focal image in mind um, but I'm not sure whether I want to add anything else to the background so sometimes by adding a border first which you know frames everything and closes everything in um, you've got a better picture of um, how it's going to look when it's when it's finished so it you know just helps bring everything into focus so we'll add the purple first and then I'm going to do exactly the same with black as well you know I like my double borders um, and this piece is calling for it Given that a quick dry and <coughs> oh excuse me I've just been eating some peanuts so I just want to do the same with the with the black so we've got that smudgy purple and then the the black just to you know really frame everything and you know that will just give me a better picture for how how my piece is going to look my tag is going to look 
Can you see the difference that's made? Right, there we go. Then for a focal image, I want to use a butterfly. What have I done with it? Again, I'm going to be using wallpaper samples. Let me try. Oh, here it is. This one here I thought would work really well. I've got two butterflies. I've got this one, which I think is just too big, and this one here with the glitter around the edges. So I'm going to fussy cut um, this, this out. As I say, this is a wallpaper sample. And then again, for my quote, I've got look for something positive each day even if some days you have to look a little harder and I've printed this out in I think it was um, a nine font in uppercase and then um, in fact it might have been yes a nine font in uppercase um, and then a ten font in lowercase both in bold and so I'm going to cut those out as well just so that I can place those on the tag and see which one I think works best. So I've cut both of my quotes out um, and I think this time I'm going to go for the lowercase. So what I'm going to do is I've got my piece of deli paper here. I'm going to stick all of it down this time um, onto a piece of cardstock. There we are. Move that out of the way. I've got a piece of scrap cardstock here. Let's glue it onto the back side because that's grubbier smooth that down and then I'm going to cut that out now and we'll start having a play and seeing what we want to do. Now this tag is really really simple all I'm going to do is just ink around the edges in wilted violet first and then the black archival ink. I have mounted my butterfly onto a piece of black cardstock because I want it to be dimensional and it just wasn't thick enough just on the wallpaper by itself so I'm going to ink away and I'll just show you what um, I'm doing. I'm doing a heavier layer of the purple here and then all I shall do with the black is just go directly if I can get the lid off um, from from the ink pad just to darken the edges slightly and I just find that that just makes a really big difference. So I've inked around the edges of my quote and I'm just doing the butterfly and you can see here that I'm going in heavier um, with, the, with the black just because I really want this to stand out off the, the page so I want a, a nice thick black, black layer of ink. There we go. I'm happy, happy with that. So I want to do the same again and add, oh whoops Daisy, I've grabbed a white one by mistake. I want to add a black eyelet. Here we are, so where's my crocodile gone? Let's add this. This was a really good investment I think, but um, you can get cheaper eyelet tools. But, um, but I have had my money's worth out of mine, I have to say. There we are, so that's, um, that's that. And then let's um, assemble this. So my butterfly is going to go there, something like that. L look for something positive each day, even if some days you have to, whoops Daisy, look a little harder. So I shall glue this down right way up. Come on Nina, get, um, get a grip something like that and I think I'm going to have it on the slant today. Then my tag, a coat of black paint, Dilusions again and this time I'm going to use a cerise pink piece of um, binding. This is left over from one of the other tags I did and let's just use that piece of bent over wire just to pull it through. There we are. Only one piece this time because this is quite, quite thick. And I think if I used any more, I wouldn't get it through through the um, the hole. So we'll tighten that up and give that a trim. There we are, and that's another one finished. I just love these; they're just um, such a great use of all your leftovers. The next two pieces I want to play with are these pieces here that I've cut into ATC size. I think this was um, an art journal page that I was going to use, but it was just too textured and too busy. I just used too much of the modelling paste all over the page and decided that um, I couldn't use it as a journal page and cut it down to ATCs. I've got more somewhere, but um, 
but I can't find them so I'm going to work on these two pieces here and I think what I want to do is add some Inca gold so I'm going to use the platinum um, in fact this is silver not platinum it needs some water mine are st I really do need to whoops Daisy I've just knocked the um, camera sorry about that I really do need to use mine because they're they're starting to dry up now and um, there is a way of hydrating them. I must look up the video. I can't remember who shared it not so long ago, actually, as to how you can revitalize your dried up Inca Golds. Right, okay, so let's just add a bit of that to my finger. And what I'm going to do is just rub this over Can you see? Um, I just love that effect because I don't like this white modelling paste that's um, that's showing through. It's gone sort of like a yellowy colour and I, I'm not so keen on that. So we'll add some of this which should just stick to the raised areas. I just love that, see? So nothing goes to waste, even if you've sort of, you know, done something for a journal background and you think, ugh. I really don't like that. There's always something that you can do with it. And then I think I want to add some gold um, to the green one. So let me just wipe off um, my finger. You sort of end up with a build-up when you're using your finger with Inca Golds and um, it goes all crusty if you don't clean yourself in between. Let's try some gold on this one here and see what, um, see what that looks like. This one's gone all dry as well. So again, I'm just going to add some water let that um, swirl around. Here we are. And let's see what we can do with, with this one, this one here. Oh, I like that with the gold. See? See how that's transformed that? Continued adding um, Inca gold in silver and the gold onto these two pieces and I think I want to add a black background again um, so I'm just reaching for my archival ink so we'll add a black background and then I'm going to go over the black with the gold on the gold and the silver on the silver so there we go, we've got um, the black on, so let's just add some of that gold around here. I just love that. And it's just the attention to detail that um, brings these pieces to life, in my opinion anyway. I just think that, you know, if you're going to do something, it's worth just spending a bit of time on it. Pretty, I love that. Let's do the do the silver. Look at the state of my fingers. Oh, good grief! I live my life in a permanent state of mess. The good thing about the ink gold is that it washes off your fingers really, really easily. I was going to use um, some happy mail on these that I received from D Betsy Doodle but I don't know um, now that I'm looking at them they're too samey and I'm not going to I'm going to save those for another day and I found um, an alternative but the colors aren't right let me just show you I've got these hearts that were made with wallpaper um, oh gosh the oh te heavily textured wallpaper let me just go and see if i can yeah, find it's stuff. this stuff here and again um this was just a sample that i picked up from the local diy store and i made hearts i can't remember what i was doing with this i made atcs or, or something out of out of this and had some left over but the colors aren't right so i'm going to paint them and I've got some metallic luster paint here. I've got a green, which I thought would go really nicely with this one here. And then I've got purple for this one, this one here. And you know, thinking about it, I'm wondering whether the green would go really well with both of these. I've got 
a touch of green in the background. I'm not sure. I think I'll paint one first, the green, see how it looks, um, and then and then we'll see. I'm going to use my drop paper as a palette. Let me just give this a good shake. Let me just move my camera over so that you can see what I'm doing. And you can see that um, as I've been um, painting the backs of my tags and things, I've been dabbing the leftover paint off onto this drop paper. So that should be enough. Let me just grab a paintbrush. Oh, hang on a second. Here we go. This one will this one will do. So let's paint this one this one first. So I'm just going to whoops, I keep knocking the um, camera. So let's get rid of that blue because the blue isn't working and it's not going to take much paint at all. And let's just try that on the pink as well and see how that, do you know, I think that's going to work. I'm going to paint both of those in, in the green. I'm going to do exactly the same um, with this one here. Let's paint that green. It might need a couple of coats. I'm not sure. We'll see. And these are um, the Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Luster Paints. I love these. Sam bought me these for Christmas. Well, the boys. Um, bought me these for Christmas a couple of um, years ago and I went through a phase of using them loads because they really are beautiful paints. Right, I'm going to give this a dry. This one here needs another coat of paint because the blue is still shining through. The other one's okay. And I've got all that lovely green then on my drop paper beautiful let's just get rid of all of that let's have a look at this one here let's just go over that one again too I just love that and then I'll give these another drop those I think those are perfect and I think what I'm going to do now is just add a touch of the Inca gold over the top so we'll add some of the gold on this one this one here um, just a, a little bit, just to tie it all to, together and just bring out the lovely detail in that wallpaper. I really do need to find a way of hydrating my Inca Gold. And let's have a look and just look how perfect um, that is. I just love that. You just see the see the difference. Yeah, no, I like um, I like it with the gold, and I'm going to do the same with the silver on the um, other one. Oh, got my needle in there, my threading needle. How did that get um, in there? Never mind. Right, so we'll do the same with um, this one here. And then I'm going to ink in black around the edges and then we'll glue it down and have a look and see if I want to add any kind of kind of quote. So we'll ink around the edges just to make it stand out on the ATC and add a border. And then I'm going to do the same again as I did with the ATC and I shall edge this in silver and I'll edge the other one in gold. So I'm just going to add some of the silver to this one, this one here. Just look how nicely that finishes that off. There we are. My ATCs are nearly finished now. They've um, both been painted on the on the back, and um, you know I've added the the cardstock just to give them some some weight, so they're much firmer and more sturdy now. Happy with that. And then I think I am going to position the hearts just slightly off to the left, and I'm going to use some heavy gel medium for that because you know the background is quite quite textured. So I'm just going to add this straight to the back. So we'll have that one 
there and any glue that um, I've got around the, the sides like I have here will just dry clear so I could do with finding something to weight, weight that down. Let's add that glazing medium and I'll do exactly the same with the other one and then I need to have a think about what um, I'm going to do for a quote. I added some of the Tim Holtz chit chat words to my ATCs. I haven't shown you this process. I was impatient and didn't leave the hearts to glue properly and they came unstuck so I fiddled um, around with it a bit so I haven't bothered showing that piece of footage but I mounted the Tim Holtz chit chat words on a piece of cardstock just to give them um, some strength because I wanted to use dimensional foam. I don't know whether you can see it there if I, I tilt this because the, the hearts are quite textured and quite raised from the surface surface of um, the background. So I used half of this dimensional foam and then on the left hand side I just used whoops -a -daisy, some of the red score tape so that you know that won't come unstuck. Love those and of course um, I think I showed that I had mounted them onto a piece of cardstock and then painted it black with Dilutions paint just to tidy up the, um, the back. These are the stencils that I used to create these um, th these backgrounds originally. So it was this one here, which is the peacock feathers. I think these are both creative expression stencils. And then I've got, I used this one here as well. I don't know whether you can see the squares in the background. And again, I'm pretty sure that that is a creative expressions. And I used Cosmic Shimmer Glimmer Sprays um, to color the modeling paste because I applied modeling paste through these stencils um, and then just sprayed it with Cosmic Shimmer. And of course, it was Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Luster Paint that I used to um, paint the hearts as well. So those are the two ATCs. I think those are gorgeous. Um, and then here's the two tags. So another productive day. Now I would like to know from you whether you prefer the real-time videos, you know, such as the one I've done today, or do you like it when I speed up onto double time and then do a voiceover? Let me know what you think. I know that I can't please everybody, but you know, I'll go with um, what the majority prefer. So again I hope you like that let's bring these ATCs back as well hope it's given you some ideas as to how to use some of the backgrounds and scraps and bits and pieces that you've got lying around how to use um, wallpaper for focal images um, effectively as well um, as always I would appreciate a thumbs up if you did like that because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now